Okay, let's have a look at this, shall we, chat? A tea party most thorny. Oh, God. Return to the speed to do a solar base. Oh, God. Oh, God. We're starting. I am very excited. At three. Hey, it's the room, and it's empty and waiting for us, as promised. Oh, it's very echoey. Uh, Nubia is such a good person. True, she is. Hmm, now that the serial disappearances case has been solved, no one's going to come after us for anything. Even without Silver standing guard, we can just completely relax. True. Why don't we stay and rest up here for a while? Even machines and Fontaine need to stop and recharge now and then. If we wanted to rest, couldn't we just pick somewhere with a decent view? Oh, come on. This place isn't that bad. Besides, how often do we get to stay in an actual base? The truth, Paimon. Oh, fine, fine. <laughs> Remember that detective story Paimon read before? Well, the author is about to release a new book, so Paimon wanted to buy it as soon as it came out and have a quiet place to read it. Just don't spoil the ending for me this time. Yippee! Then it's agreed. Come on, let's get some sleep. We'll need to be up first thing in the morning to get in line and buy a copy. Okay, Jesus Christ. <laughs> She's learning. She's becoming knowledgeable. You and Paimon relax for a while. It's been a Rosula's base, and I couldn't read the rest, but that's fine. Paimon didn't expect that. Detective novel? It's also like a social documentary. Oh, it's actually pretty good. You're a pretty slow reader, Paimon. Uh, no, Paimon just spends a bit more time sleeping than you, that's all. Mm -hmm. Excuse me, but do you know if the Traveler and Paimon are lodging here? Huh? Uh <laughs> hey, you! Paimon doesn't recall seeing you before. Wait. You're not here to give us trouble, are you? Never heard of him. A blonde traveler and a chatty little fairy. Really? <sighs> Looks like I found the place. Really? Good thing I asked the Spina di Rosula. Seems they sent me the right way. You could have put two and two together when you first saw us with that description? Hey, what do you mean by chatty? Paimon's always careful not to talk too much. Most of the time, anyway. Y you're really not. It's an honor to meet you both. I was sent from the Palais Mermonia. Monsieur Nurilat wishes to see you. Okay, it's it fine. Seems he has something important to discuss in person. You should have led with that, honestly. He wants to see us again already? Huh. We talked so much the last time we met. Has something happened since then? Who cares? I am not privy to the details. It would be best if you came to the Palais Marmonia and asked Monsieur Nurilat in person. I'm down. Mm, if you say so, but... Paimon has a bad feeling about this. I got a very good feeling about this. Now that I've delivered the message, I'll take my leave. Thanks! We haven't left the room for a few days, so we'll head over once we've freshened up a bit. Ugh. Oh. Ugh! Oh. We're sweaty, dude! To the stars shining in the depths. Talk to Nouvellet. I've missed him in the story, dude. I have. I, I, I'm not lying, chat, when I say he's genuinely, to me, one of the most interesting characters, dude. Hello there. Water. He likes water, right? It's like a gift. It's like a present. Oh, the music. Did you want to see us about something? Sir? So? Uh, huh? <laughs> Why were you just standing there? You daydreaming or thinking something over? Yes, I did send someone to fetch you. But as for what I'd like to discuss next, well, I still have some reservations. What's your real first Even name? We've already made the trip here. You should just tell us. Bet you need us to help you with something, right? I do indeed have something I'd like to ask you to do. However, you should wait until after I tell you the details, then decide for yourselves whether you'd like to help or not. The situation huh. is this. A while earlier at the Palais Mamonia. It has come to my attention that the Snezhnayan harbinger known as the Knave wants oh. a diplomatic meeting with you, correct? Oh, God. I heard that she was originally from Fontaine. But for her to suddenly arrive here and abruptly request such a meeting like this, I sincerely advise you to refuse her invitation outright. Mm. Oh, God. Think about it, Farina. I'm sure you're aware that her purpose is most likely related to Child's recent predicament. Yeah. We convicted one of the Snezhnayan Harbingers in a court of law, but we have yet to provide any form of detailed report on the matter. This does indeed provide an opportunity for Snezhnaya to put pressure on us. Yes, Ken. I believe we should adopt an evasive stance until we can provide a proper explanation and have a preliminary plan on how to deal with the matter. No, we shouldn't. I think we should agree to the meeting. Oh? Oh. 
well, uh, you see, we are the ones that owe an explanation. If we keep putting off the meeting, it could easily result in the problem escalating, right? I It's like, guess. like a fight between two friends. If they don't agree to see each other and talk in person, isn't it possible that the friendship could end entirely? Though diplomatic relations between Fontaine and Snezhnaya could be considered as friendly, it huh. is only superficially so. You wouldn't go so far as to say that our nations are friends, as you did in your example. It was just an analogy. An analogy, okay? Okay! Moreover, even if we were to talk in person, if we don't have sufficient information prepared, it is quite possible the result wouldn't be restored relations. But a complete falling out. Mmm, that wouldn't be good. I don't think we should overthink those possibilities yet. <clears throat> what? <laughs> Even if the logic of the divine is not immediately apparent, its wisdom will only be revealed with time. Okay, but why is why is it okay to only overthink some possibilities, but not your possibilities? Besides, why? you'll be at the meeting. If any problems do pop up, you'll have no problem navigating them. Oh, God. I must clarify that interacting and communicating with people outside of court is not my cup of tea. It seems you think too much of me. <laughs> but more importantly, when did I agree to join a meeting with you? <laughs> he didn't. <laughs> you mean you won't come? No, 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 that, that won't do. I can't go to the meeting alone. You have to accompany me. I must take you with me. Ah. Lady Farina, could there be something else regarding this matter that is being kept from me? <laughs> no, not at all. Look, Dude, the animations. I am the Hydro Archon of Fontaine, Fosalor, the god of justice who is loved and adored by many. Oh, that's cool. So I only hope that justice will be served in this matter. Don't overthink it. I'll go find someone to arrange the meeting. She's so funny, dude. So annoying, but so funny. The time of the meeting with the knave that Lady Farida insisted upon arrives. Oh my god, this is moving quick, dude. Though it could officially be considered a diplomatic conference. I prefer to see our meeting today as an ordinary tea party. Look at her. She's here. I assume you Ooh, see the same vision. way, Miss Farina. Oh, give us the... Oh! Ooh, the fourth! Did we know that? We didn't know that, I don't think. Four. Lady Farina. Holy shit, she's strong. Uh, oh, <laughs> yes, yes, that's right. Just like you said, a tea party. <laughs> uh -huh. I should thank you for providing the pastries. They look delectable. To make this tea party even more lively, I've invited someone else to join us today. Monsieur Nouvellet. By the way, I, I kind of expected her to be 10th, I'm not going to lie. I know that people thought she was strong, but I thought that they would just be stronger. I don't know. It's a pleasure to meet you, Monsieur Nouvellet. I was born in Fontaine, so naturally, there's no need to introduce the nation's revered Eudex to me. Hello. <laughs> the pleasure is also mine. Oh, God. First, I would like to thank the two of you. I'm often away on business outside of Fontaine, and I'm told that the children of the House of the Hearth have been well taken care of by you. Dude, her design's wild. <laughs> oh, I'm not referring to when my children, Linny and Lynette, were falsely accused by you. Please don't misunderstand. <laughs> the children of the House of the Hearth are often misunderstood, perhaps due to the reputation of the Fatui. There's no getting around that. Oh, God. All I meant to say is that Fontaine has been stable in recent years. The people are well off and the children lead happy, fulfilled lives. Why you be that so nice? Is something truly worth cherishing. And no one wishes to disrupt such peace. Now then, you have come regarding the matter of child. Correct. Please say no, that'd well, be so yes. funny. Damn it. It appears the ever busy Udex Nuvillette doesn't wish to waste time with diplomatic pleasantries and hopes that we can get straight to the point of our talk. Yup. Yes, as you surmised, understanding child's situation is indeed one of the goals of this trip. Oh, only understanding it? Interesting. As we are both diplomats from Snezhnaya as well as Fatui Harbingers, Child and I have always been colleagues. Yeah, you hate Were each other. to happen in Fontaine, 
Each of us would serve as the other's attorney to resolve the issue. Oh, God. So now, in my capacity as his attorney, I request that child be turned over to Snezhnaya. We have a responsibility to cooperate with Fontaine and resolve what has happened to him together. The rules governing attorneys only apply before a trial has concluded. Since a verdict has already been rendered, we see the case as settled. I apologize for being unable to grant your request. He looks so unapologetic while apologizing. Like, no, no, you don't. Just be honest. No, you fucking don't. An outright refusal. Very well. I respect all the rules of Fontaine's courts, just as I respect you as Chief Justice. Okay. Why don't we back up a step? Okay. You don't need to transfer child to us. I only request to enter the fortress of Meripede to see child and confirm his condition. I think that's fair, but... It's hmm. not like you couldn't even manage to fulfill a simple request like that. Right, Miss Farina? Uh, um, about that. Huh? The fortress of Meripede has always been completely autonomous. Even we have no authority to interfere there. Really? Diplomatic issues do not suffice as an excuse. However, if you absolutely must confirm the situation of the Harbinger, I have a proposal. Interesting. I didn't think and that you showed up already. Well, Linny did say that father will be returning soon. True. Although chat like to call her daddy. Uh, I'm very surprised that neither Fosalor or Nouvellet have, like, noth nothing they can do to get people inside the fortress. We didn't even know that Lenny was from the House of the Hearth at the time, so we kind of overlooked that information. Please be careful, Nouvellet. The knave won't be so easy to deal with. Yes, thank you for your kind advice. I'm well aware of the situation. I also noticed that Lady Farina acts a little odd and unnatural whenever I bring up matters related to the knave. Interesting. Either she's scared or... Threatening Lady Farina or something? Bro, what if she know? What if she would like grew up at the orphanage or something? If that were the case, I don't know. Why wouldn't Lady Farina inform me? True. And what means could the knave possibly have to twist the arm of an archon? The same reason literally every other harbinger has twisted the arms of an archon for, dude. The noses. Hmm. So maybe that's not very likely. Even though Farina can act a little weird at times, she's. Still an archon. Is she? In reality, this problem is even more thorny than it appears. <laughs> According to reports from the fortress of Meripede, child recently disappeared under mysterious circumstances. Disappeared? The details are still unclear. We cannot rule out an escape, but there have also been no reports of him outside of the fortress of Meripede. Special guards oversee the fortress, and its internal systems are extensive. Combined with the special characteristics of the surrounding terrain, an escape should not be possible. I suspect that there's something else behind Child's disappearance. I was only willing to share this information with you because you are friends of Child, and it is my duty to see justice done. Of course. So this is what you wanted to see us about before. Yes. I would like you to go to the Fortress of Meripede and investigate Child's disappearance. This was my proposal during our meeting with the Knave. Rather than allowing her to intervene, I offered to send someone to find out about Child's situation and report back to her in detail. I see. The Knave did not seem satisfied by my proposal, but she still agreed to go along with it for the time being. Her words were, We will talk more once we have that report. So that means we bought ourselves some time! But why do you want us to go? Wouldn't it be more convenient to have an official from Fontaine do this? Firstly, you're already acquainted with Child. Your eyes may discern relevant details there that others would miss. I may have elemental vision. And secondly, is the consideration of the unique nature of the Fortress of Meripede. Isn't it just Fontaine's prison? I would not define it so crudely. Mm. The Fortress of Meripede is not affiliated with the court system of Fontaine on paper. It has always existed as an autonomous entity. Early in Fontaine's history, criminals were punished with exile, not imprisonment. Even today, Sentences against convicted criminals still include exile, just as before. Interesting. The fortress of Meripede may seem like a prison, but it should in fact be regarded as a gathering place for exiles. Trailer line! All we do is dispatch guards to keep watch and help maintain security, 
but we have no right to get involved with any other matters. Although I do have a personal relationship with the administrator there, neither myself nor the courts have the right to be directly involved with the investigation, no matter how serious the grounds. Oh, Hyman gets it now. That's why you need us to conduct our own investigation as a third party, right? Hmm. Correct. I will arrange false charges against you so that you may secretly investigate inside the fortress during your detention. Oh, God. This will save us a lot of unnecessary trouble. So, are you two willing to accept my proposal? Since you're in such a tough spot. Yeah, no matter how you look at it, it seems we're the best choice. All right, we hereby accept this difficult task. Uh, reluctantly. Also, for all of you that said in, in the past couple of weeks that Tartalia and the Traveler are not friends, go fuck yourself, I guess. <laughs> the Argo Quest just said otherwise. You two have my sincere thanks. This matter is of critical importance to Fontaine's current situation. Lol. Also, I hope that both of you can keep this operation a secret. Of course. We will rendezvous at the Fortress of Merope's entrance on Erinaeus once you've prepared yourselves. I will arrange for someone to take you inside. Prepared ourselves? Uh, is there something we need to prepare? Perhaps you could enjoy a good meal and have a nice bath. <laughs> I'm afraid that living conditions you inside say... the fortress are nothing like those on the outside world. You say it, I smell? Oh, right! Even though we'll be there on trumped up charges, we'll be in prison for real. Uh, on second thought, is it too late to back out? I've already agreed, Pyma, just accept it. <laughs> Please do not worry. Since you are sacrificing both your time and quality of life for the sake of delivering this report, a lot of more you will be compensated according to the highest standards permitted to legal staff, regardless of the outcome. Now that's more like it. Come on, traveler, let's go eat the best meal we can find. We'll eat so much that we won't need to eat another meal for a whole month. Your treat. Are you leaving now? <laughs> In that case, please take this cake as a token of my personal gratitude. Huh? A cake? Ugh. Oh, no need to thank me for it. Just be sure to enjoy it. Okay. Did I not actually get a cake? Did I just get scammed? You ate it. I ate it right there and then? That must have been Paimon, not me. Okay, let's go eat. Or drink. <laughs> They're really enjoying the uh, animations in this Oracle Quest, there. Eh? You just ordered a lot. Didn't you just finish eating the cake that Nuvalet gave us? Oh my god, it was Paimon. That cake was pretty good. But as soon as Paimon remembered that we were about to go to prison, Paimon's stomach suddenly became completely empty. She pooped herself. Now that Paimon thinks about it, we've always been super careful ever since we arrived in Fontaine. Just to avoid breaking any strange laws here. But... Here we are, about to willingly send ourselves off to the Fortress of Meropede. Hmm, maybe this is what they call fate. Don't <sighs> be suspicious. Let's just try our best to investigate everything quickly once we get there. Paimon doesn't want to stay in prison too long. Me either, honestly. Charlotte? Oh, what is that I hear? Is it the taste of a breaking story? Why does every character keep disappearing and appearing like that? Here, Charlotte. Oh, don't remind me. I invited an eyewitness to a case to eat here. I was planning to get some great material out of him, but he didn't even show up. Oh, ah, calm down, calm down. This is nothing new. As a journalist, you should be used to this by now. As long as you can score some juicy tidbits from the traveler, you might still be able to recover the cost of the meal. You think it out loud, uh, Charlotte. <laughs> you know, we can still hear you, Charlotte. <laughs> uh, never mind. Jesus. It's nothing. I just heard you mention the Fortress of Meripede. You didn't commit a crime, did you? Please tell me all about it. No way! We would never! We're just going there to... Achoo! Uh... Um... To... No, achoo, not oh, no. um to. I almost forgot that Nevelette told us to keep it a secret. We're going to serve, uh, for spoiling the end of a detective novel in public. Huh? You're being arrested for that? Yes. Oh. <laughs> but now that I think about it, I suppose that's not completely unreasonable. That's pretty despicable. Almost as offensive as committing theft. 
Yeah, all the, all the NPCs got portable waypoints, dude. We dropped them. <laughs> uh, you mean Paimon really did something that serious? I told you, Paimon. You didn't even think uh, think anything of it at the time. Sorry, Paimon really messed up. <laughs> uh, in that case, it's nothing particularly newsworthy after all. Oh, how disappointing. All right, there's still a chance. Yep. Uh, since you're going to be at the Fortress of Miripede... Would you be willing to help me gather some material for a story? Sure. Um, about that, uh, Paimon doesn't think we'll have any time. Oh, it's nothing difficult. All you have to do is think of a way to get some time face to face with the Warden of the Fortress. Oh god, okay, most people would love He's that. the honorary title of Duke in Fontaine. Yeah. Sounds really cool, huh? Only those who have made significant contributions to the nation have been conferred this title. It's incredibly rare. Duke Risley. On top Duke of Duke. that, the Fortress of Meripede has never been under the jurisdiction of the courts. Practically nobody, including journalists like me, knows anything about the person in charge there. Oh, if I could write an exclusive article about him, I bet it would sell a boatload of papers. Probably. You make it sound easy, but it really depends. Of course, I wouldn't ask you to do it for free. So this meal is on me. Nice. All right, you got a deal. We'll Cut. do anything you want. Bye, mon. <laughs> then it's settled. The food should be here any second, right? Huh? Wait, just how much did you order? Everything. Quite literally. After completely stuffing yourselves, you prepare to go to the Fortress of Meripide. Meripide. I would say Meripide. True. I had no idea you could eat so much. <laughs> that didn't go according to plan. <laughs> please, please, don't forget about the material for my news article. I won't, but I just realized, do, do, does her camera have eyes? Uh, wait. Kinda just said something really ominous, didn't she? It's a little face with a bow tie. That's pretty cute. Hey, chat, did you know that if you step in the middle of this fountain, uh, you get banned in my chat? Wait! This was the jail! This was the jail! Hey! To all of you in the YouTube shorts comments that were like, there's no way that's the jail. We can see the jail, dumbass. Fuck you! I was right! Think about it fucking logically, dude. If they're, if, if they're sending people to jail straight after the court, why wouldn't it be right outside the court? Instead of walking all the fucking way with a jailer. Come on. Please say yes. Come, just as promised. <laughs> oh, God. Yes, this is the one and only entrance to the fortress of Meripede from Erinaeus. Careful. Yes. You may want to step back a bit. Whoa. So nice. You go down from here? Is the prison Ooh. underwater? Yeah. Utilizing both the barrier of the water as well as the fear humans have of the depths, the fortress of Meripede is naturally the perfect place to confine and guard criminals. Now, that's kind of twisted. But don't worry. <laughs> It is not nearly as frightening inside as you may think. You will see for yourselves once you are down there. Uh, okay. I hope you're right. Don't know about you, but just thinking about being at the bottom of the sea like that gives Paimon the heebie jeebies. Oh, and there's one more thing. Mm -hmm. I mentioned that I have had personal dealings with the administrator of the fortress, oh, Ridesley. No. He's a very shrewd fellow. Yeah, we heard about him too. He's the Duke, right? Correct. He is the highest ranking manager of the underwater prison. Even though you are going there to investigate at my behest, it would behoove you to avoid any confrontation with him or any of his subordinates. Behoove. The Duke rarely ever leaves the Fortress of Meripede, but that does not mean he is not privy to all that is happening inside and outside the fortress. He is mm. quiet, but not unaware, so please Ooh. bear that in mind. I like that. The Duke. Wisely. All right. It's about all the time that we have to talk privately. I'm counting on you two. I'm going to keep calling him Risley. We won't let you down. Good. <clears throat> Madeline. Oh? I'm here, Monsieur Nervalet. These two are the newest convicts, I presume. <laughs> Don't worry. They won't escape on my watch. Wait, is she not in on it? <laughs> <laughs> Likely we try. Please follow me, you two. I'll process your paperwork for entering the Fortress of Meripede. Oh god. Yeah, Risley. Huh? What? Involvement in the other quests. 
in an unfinished comedy world quest. Oh, this is cool. The cool new UI. I'm continuing. God damn. Oh, ho, ho, ho. Traveler, get in the elevator. Can I glide? Wind strider. Nice. Are you already underwater now? Huh. So this is what it feels like to be a criminal in Fontaine. Honestly, not that bad. At least for now. You two seem to be taking this pretty well. It's rare to see convicts in such a good mood. Talk to Moret and complete the required procedures. Any ch chesticles? Nope. Okay. Chesticles, chat. Chest. Oh, it's you, Madeline. Layla, is that you? How'd they make you make the trip down here today? Monsieur Nervalet personally requested I escort these two convicts. I suppose he was concerned others might not be up to the task. <laughs> <laughs> well, now, aren't you the lucky one? Must be nice to be on good terms with the big shots like the Chief Justice. She does kind of sound like Kafka. The only people I get to see every day are the new inmates. Well, have you tried service with a smile? No. Who knows? It might help your professional reputation. <laughs> yeah, right. As if. Every criminal comes through here looking miserable. How can I smile with such a toxic work environment? You know what? Honestly? Yeah. No, I can see that. And even if I did smile at them, the convicts would probably just think that I'm some freak getting some kind of twisted enjoyment from their pain. Oh, she's got a point. Damn. Well, I've finished transferring you. You two will register here, and Marette will guide you through the remaining procedures. But I thought a lot of the, the prisoners didn't want to leave, so they should be happy, right? So smile. I don't know. Like, <sighs> yep. I, I mean, wouldn't they be smiling? Here. You head on back to that bright and sunny world above. Oh, I guess she's only processing the inmates, though, so she wouldn't get to see that. Never mind. That actually makes more sense. Yeah, incoming prisoners. Okay, let me see. You are the Traveler and Paimon, correct? Present. That would be us. And we look happy. Let me confirm your charges and sentence. Let's see. You two are charged with... Murder. Eating a cake specially prepared for the Archon by a Snezhnayan <laughs> envoy without the Archon's permission, thereby incapacitating no! the political center of Fontaine for a brief period. <laughs> sentence... 45 days? Huh? Wait, you mean the cake that Nervalet gave us was... Oh, Just man. looking at the charges, it seems you two are capable of causing some serious trouble. <laughs> and considering how fond Lady Furina is of sweets, this crime is tantamount to trying to assassinate the Hydro Archon herself. You really have an eye for criminals, huh? Now I've seen everything. <laughs> Anyway, we still need to finish processing you before you can enter the Fortress of Meripede. Okay. Please stand in front of the board over there. I'll take your mug shots with my camera. Oh, all right. But be sure to catch Paimon's good side. Oh, goodness, dude. Also, yeah, it made me laugh when people said there's no reason for Paimon to even have this behind her for the mug shot. Because <laughs> she's floating. <laughs> oh. <laughs> oh, this is awkward. Smile. Smile. <laughs> Under Moret's guidance, you complete all the required procedures. Mm. Okay. And we're done. Thank you for your cooperation. Next, someone will be along to guide you inside the fortress. Please be sure to cherish this opportunity for rebirth. Huh? Rebirth? Isn't that a little much? We're only gonna be here for 45 days! That sounds sus. You two are the new enemies, <coughs> right? Follow me. Oh, okay! Paimon is Paimon and this is the Traveler! Save it. Not like I'll remember your names. Move it. Based. <laughs> He just wants to get his shit done and go home, dude. <laughs> Although you probably will remember the names, you know, we're kind of big shots and we'll probably end up murdering a lot of people down here. <sighs> Sadly, that's how it goes. Choo -choo! Okay, let's go. To the Fortress of Meripede. To meet Risley.
And hopefully Bran, the mecha dude, I'm in the game. Oh my god. But that was pretty. So, are you one of the guards here? Um, is there anything we should be careful of while we're here? <laughs> Everything? Uh, did Paimon already ask something she wasn't supposed to? Awkward. Why should I tell you anything? What's in it for me? Why were you sent to bring us in here? <sighs> this is exactly why I can't stand you fish. I wouldn't even be doing this if it weren't for the credit coupons. Credit coupons? Oh, is this guy a prisoner too? Is this his job? All right. Maybe? Seeing as you're not the annoying kind that's getting dragged in here crying and blubbering, I guess I can tell you a few things. But next time, it'll cost you some coupons. Mm. Mora means nothing here. Here, we use credit coupons. Coupons can get you almost anything in the Fortress of Meripede. Desires? Fulfilled. You want power? No problem. Coupons can even change fate itself. Huh? So, credit coupons are a currency that can only be used here? It's not as simple as that. Like Moret said, everyone gets a chance at rebirth. What does that mean? No matter how much money or power you had before, it means nothing once you set foot inside the Fortress of Meripede. You have to start over and earn your coupons. There better be no goddamn fetch quest in this Fortress of Meripede, dude. Everyone starts from the same place. And you have a chance at a new, less terrible life. I guess that's the real purpose of the coupons. They symbolize true fairness and true justice. And this is also exactly why so many criminals choose not to return to the outside world even after they've served their ah, sentence. Ah, that makes so sense. that's what the Fortress of Meripede is like. Huh. Paimon was under the impression that it'd be more like a prison. That actually does it make sense. It's all sunshine and roses here. But it's also not the worst place to be. You'd better take a good look at the scenery now. It'll be the last chance you get for a while. After being away from the sunlight for so long, even the terrifying depths of the sea start to feel like home. It just stops feeling oppressive, you know? Oh, hmm. I'm actually an inmate like you two. I thought so. Welcoming newcomers is a job I've picked up to earn some extra coupons. There's a reason he sounds so fucking pissed all the time, dude. He don't want to be doing this, but I mean, it's money. Uh, have you ever seen the Duke? I oh, have you seen a Hobbiter from Shneznaya? Hey! Fuckface! Uh, why aren't you answering us again? I've told you enough for free. Any more info is going to cost you. Okay, that's fair. Honestly, so understandable. All you care about is Mora. Wait, no. Coupons? Yeah, Coupon Almost Town. Almost there. It's down through here. Your turn to give it a try. Oh, God. Visitor to the aquarium. Oh, damn. This place looks sick, though, dude. Oh, look at it. Oh, God. Hello? So this is the actual entrance to the Fortress of Meribede? Huh. It looks like there are other new arrivals, too. Oh, they sure don't look happy. Uh, maybe we look too relaxed for fresh convicts. Child didn't do anything, though? Brother, did we play the same fucking quest? Hurry up and think about something sad. Oh, right. We're on someone else's territory now. Uh, we need to think of a good way to act like criminals to get by. If we're discovered, even Nevelet might not be able to rescue us. Mmm, if we ever get found out, then maybe we become criminals for real. Hey! Don't scare Paimon! Oh, Paimon's not ready for all this! Uh, look, I don't really know you, and I have no idea what kind of crime you committed, but... You wouldn't have happened to anger someone important, did you? Maybe. Someone important? Hmm, Paimon doesn't think so. Uh, wait, why are you suddenly trying to talk to us now? Now's not the time to worry about that. Anyway, it's over there, so... You just go on over there by yourselves. I've done my job, so... Good luck. Thanks. Appreciate it. Uh... What was that all about? <laughs> uh, wait a second. Usually, so many garter backs around here. Apparently not. Does this mean that they're already onto us? Oh no. 
Oh! Prisoners numbers 7459 and 7560. Welcome. Oh, no need to be anxious. These guard mechs aren't here to attack you. Yeah. In fact, they're here as your honor guard. So I'm gonna keep it a buck. Dude, I think his, the way he sounds, like the way he talks, is fantastic. He reminds me of like a New Yorker, dude. <laughs> when I heard that you were friends of Monsieur Nervillette, I had the guard mechs come and wait in formation. Wait, you know about our connection with Nervillette? Mm. The seafloor isn't as cut off from the world as you might imagine. However, I'm afraid that I know nothing more than that you are friends of the Udex. And as you can see, committing a crime means being sentenced here. Even if you're friends with the Chief Justice. Quite fair. So you must be... The Duke! Greetings, Your Grace! L lovely weather today, isn't it? Bro, you're underwater. What are you talking about? Oh, greetings, my good fellow. Well, I'm willing to imagine that the weather is as good outside the sea as you say it is. <laughs> uh, how great it would have been if only the Fortress of Meripede had been built on the coast, huh? It would have been so convenient to enjoy a nice chat in the sunshine. Also, chat, just me or eye color? Very different in-game to the original trailer thing that we saw him in. I, I vaguely remember it was very gray in the uh, original trailer, not very blue like this. Ah, my profuse apologies. I just got so nervous when I saw you, I just... So this is the Duke. He sure looks a lot younger than Paimon imagined. <laughs> the Traveler and Paimon, correct? Mr. Deacon here was responsible for your welcome. I trust you were satisfied with his guidance. Mm. <laughs> I'm gonna, I'm gonna be nice. I'm gonna be nice. I don't even know what he's down here for. He's taking great care of us. Splendid chat, really. Outstanding. Well, Deacon, I recall we discussed fate during our last work meeting. Hmm? I believe that fate will reward all those who take every aspect of their work and life seriously. Oh. When you return to your bunk. You'll find the guards have issued some extra credit coupons to you. Nice! Oh, thank you. Thank you, Your Grace. Oh, and you too. I can't believe you gave me such praise. If you need anything in the future, anything, nice. please come find me anytime. No credit coupons necessary. Wait, I'm curious. If you pick the first one, does that not happen? Well, I believe that concludes the introductions. I doubt it'll actually change anything, time. but that's still Deacon, pretty cool. If you would. Yes, Your Grace. I'll take my leave now. Nice. Hell yeah. I'm okay Please with that. Follow me. To make you feel more welcome, I'll show you around the various facilities of the Fortress of Meripede. I hope it'll help you adjust to life here. Oh god. He's going to personally give us a cure? Huh. Hyman can't figure out what this guy's thinking at all. Just roll with it for now, but I hope it doesn't know too much already. No wonder Charlotte's so interested in him. He's one of those mysterious types. All right, let's keep up with him. Oh, very interesting. Very interesting. Talk to Risley at the coupon cafeteria. Wait, do I get to meet Bran here? I'm so excited to meet Bran. There he is! I think, I think that's me. There's no need to be so reserved. The label of criminal is nothing but one of many identities. And hmm. being criminally inclined here at the fortress is just one of many ways to survive. Uh, is it really okay for the warden to think like that? We're real criminals, you know. What if we're too difficult to handle? Also very interesting with the coat design. It reminds me of Yolan's a bit. <laughs> well, then maybe you'll be able to carve out a name and a place for yourselves in this underwater world, hmm? True. But before you go in swinging, please remember that in the Fortress of Meripede, it's better to not cause trouble for yourself or for the guards. Now, we've arrived at a very important place, the Coupon Cafeteria. Yes, it is. You can come here and claim one welfare meal each day. Welfare meal? You mean it doesn't cost anything? Free food. That's right. Criminals are essential to fortress operations, so we must guarantee that they at least have the basic means to survive. <laughs> but that's not how it was. Wolsey. Back in the day, it cost your reward coupons just to get a cup of water here. Damn. And fish like you who just arrived with nothing, you'd have to go to work hungry until you earned enough coupons to eat. It was only after His Grace became the administrator that we got the free meal rule. Damn. Now everyone gets a square meal every day, 
Even no good slackers who've never picked up a wrench in their whole lives. Nobody starves to death here. In the fortress of Meripede, credit coupons are the only currency, and everything must be purchased. In some sense, you could say using the coupons is a form of trade. But trade is always conducted by people. So if we want trade here to prosper, we need everyone to work hard and live their lives. If nobody could even afford a meal, then That's the whole fat. fortress would be up in arms. And that would only make things more difficult for me. So, rather than saying that we're giving everyone a free meal here, you should say that everyone's hard work has improved the living conditions in the fortress of Merope. Yeah, that's a better Your way of saying reasoning it. reasoning is correct, but what I said is also true. <laughs> Whatever the case, hard work is rewarded here. You'd be hard-pressed to find anywhere else as fair and reasonable. Mm. Right! Paimon sees your point. By that logic, this place doesn't seem so bad after all! Paimon, you never want to do work. Oh, wait, no. We shouldn't drop our guard so quickly. But it seems the inmates really respect the Duke because of his attitude, right? Hmm. We should still try to verify the truth with our own eyes. Mm. Let's continue this way. Yeah, you were speaking kind of loud. No, not that way. I want to go see me. Wait a minute. Just wait. Ah! It's me! I'm the coupon cafeteria staff. Let me talk to Bran. Greetings, what can I do for you? I'd like a welfare meal, please. Understood. Enjoy your meal. I'm so boring, but at least I'm useful. Okay, let's go. This place is known as the Pancration Ring. That's a funny name. Sometimes we have criminals who have more energy than they know what to do with. Their daily work alone isn't enough of an outlet for them. So, oh, instead boxing. of leaving them to their own devices, we've provided them with this dedicated venue. This way, nobody will get involved unless they want to be. Pancration matches? And you can earn extra coupons? Oh, what do you think, Traveler? Interesting? Very. And I must warn you that your sentence will be extended if you fail to restrain yourself and end up seriously injuring or killing your opponent. Ah, seems you know me too well. So, did you set this place up too? No, actually. I just granted approval for the organizer to use this area to build the ring, and I collect a portion of the proceeds in return. Of course, the fees are also quite useful. Oh. Do you mind if we ask what they're used for? Sure. Ensuring personal safety, maintaining the arena, and resolving any conflicts that arise. Why? Are you interested in how to manage a pancreation ring? <laughs> oh, no, no. I'm always just wondering if that's how you paid for everyone's welfare meals. A reasonable Probably, guess. yeah. I see you have a talent for entrepreneurship. You know, you're not the first oh, person to yeah. say that. Paimon has a talent. So we can start a business here? That is something you can discuss between yourselves later. True. Let's move on for now. Yeah, I also am kind of uneasy with how friendly he is. I don't know. I didn't expect him to be this friendly. I kind of didn't want him to be this friendly. Not going to lie. And the music, dude. Oh. Da -na -na. Uh, your, your grace. Good morning. I mean, good afternoon. <laughs> no, wait. What time is it again? Oh, God. What time indeed. Time waits for no one, so it's best to keep an eye on it. True. Uh, my, my apologies, your grace. Jeez, that guy's so nervous he almost forgot to breathe. <laughs> <sighs> Sorry, forgive my manners. Jesus. Why are people so scared of him if he's this nice? I don't understand. These are the dormitories, which is where inmates sleep. I don't think he's that nice. The guards will inform you where your bunk is later. In the fortress of Meripede, criminals usually spend most of their time in either the production zone or the sleeping areas. Based. The production zone? What does it produce? Is that where we'll be working? Not necessarily. Though working in the production zone is the most reliable way to earn credit coupons. If you have other skills, you can skip your shifts to earn them in other ways. Hmm. Wow. Wait, you're the manager of this place? And you're just telling us to our faces that it's okay to skip work? The fact that the Fortress of Meripede has continued operating completely autonomously is proof enough that most people are willing to work honestly and earn a stable income. You know, true. As for what we produce, many of the clockwork machines seen all over Fontaine originate from our workshop. Oh, damn. Therefore, the Fortress of Meripede is not only a place where criminals serve their sentences, 
but also a giant machine factory. There's no need for me to get into specifics about the production process now. You'll experience it all firsthand when you report for work tomorrow. You got it, boss. <laughs> Not calling you your grace. Let's move on. The tour continues over this way. Hum. Is that Liddy? It's Liddy! My man. <gasps> oh, you didn't want to be seen either, huh? Uh-oh. Oh, uh, you really scared me there. I didn't expect to see you here, uh, Your Grace. <laughs> I thought maybe I was so tired from work that I was starting to see things. Oh, God. Has Alakino sent him as well? Maybe to spy on us? The only thing you should be seeing is the work in front of you. Stay focused and keep up the pace. Oh, is something the matter? Hmm. It's nothing. Paimon's just worried about how hard we'll have to work tomorrow. <laughs> That's the only thing that I can think of why Linnea be here. We fucking saved his ass, dude. Damn, that is really sus. Because I assumed when we saw it in the trailer that he'd get locked up with us. And I kind of forgot that he was here from then. Hmm. Oh, Sigwin. I think it's Sigwin. What do you sound like? Hydro. Did we know Hydro? I don't think so. Interesting. Your Grace? What are you doing in the infirmary at a time like this? <gasps> oh. oh no, you didn't injure yourself, did you? So cute. Not yet, unfortunately <laughs> for you. But thank you for your concern, Siege Wing. Si oh. <laughs> then you must be here for those two. Siege Wing? I can't. Sigwin. It's that Sig... Siege Wing? Allow me to introduce you. This is the infirmary, and Sijuin here is the fortress of Meripede's head nurse. <laughs> Hello, new faces. They call me the head nurse, but I actually handle all the nurse-related work all by myself down here. Congrats! Since you seem to have some rare downtime with no patients, perhaps you could find the time to join us for dinner? Oh, then these two must be some important convicts. <laughs> sure, I'll join the welcome party. Hell Thank yeah. You. Your presence will be the pièce de résistance for today's tour. Oh, so the tour part is over now? I believe I've already covered the primary aspects of life here in the fortress. As for your work, there'll be someone else to guide you through the details. Hmm, I seldom conduct tours, so why don't you just ask if you have any questions? Uh... uh well, this is our first time here. Paimon's not sure what to ask. Damn, I want to ask then a question. Let's head back to the coupon cafeteria. God damn it. Maybe a meal will help you think up some questions. You should at least try to be excited. Our free meals are actually pretty good here. You free tonight? Oh, you want to ask that to Risley? Oh, no. Not like this. What do you think of the food? Does it meet your expectations? Wow. Ah. It's delicious. No one that made it sound like living conditions in the Fortress of Meripede wasn't very good. Who would have guessed that criminals get to eat tasty food like this every day? Is that garlic bread and carrots? <laughs> well, that's pretty good there. Oh, isn't that the meal box that only super lucky people manage to draw? Oh, is it other bread? Like you two are I can't see it. Fortunate. It actually has nothing to do with luck in this case. I had a word with Walsey, so you didn't have to draw lots like everyone else. Risley and Walsey. Oh, you mean the meals are random? Yes, what you get to eat depends completely on your luck. You could say that it's a distasteful little game that Chef Walsey <laughs> likes to play here in the cafeteria. Gotcha food and I'm the robot dispensing it. Paimon knew it! If criminals got to eat tasty food like this every meal, the crime rate in Fontaine would it for sure. True. Excuse me, did I hear you mention Nervulet just now? Yeah. Uh, I've been wondering how he's doing. Is he busy with work? Has he been taking care of his health? He seems healthy no matter how you look at him. But he works so hard all the time, so it must be really tiring. It sounds like he hasn't changed a bit. Looks like you can stop worrying so much, Sejuin. Hmm. Oh, that's good. But I still feel like it's been too long since I've heard any news about him. Go to the surface. No news is good news. Maybe next time I've got something to discuss with him, I can invite you to accompany us. Hmm? But isn't the Fortress 
of Meropede independent from Fontaine's court system? What do you two have to discuss? Well, we provide all kinds of mechanical products for official use, and some essential goods have to be obtained from the overworld, so we naturally have to stay in touch about this and that. Monsieur Nivellet's character is unimpeachable. No matter the question, you can discuss it openly and freely with him. Talking with him feels quite effortless. I didn't know this. In light of that, I am quite willing to go out of my way to show respect and accommodate him. Why you be so nice? In fact, right now, I'm treating you two as guests invited by Monsieur Nivellet. Oh. But unfortunately, I can only do so until the end of this meal. Oh? After this, you two will just be inmates here. It had a time limit? Well, thanks. You're very welcome. Well, your new life awaits. Bro, we're in here for 45 days, motherfucker. Calm down with your new life stuff. Are you finished eating? Yeah. Then I recommend that you return to the dormitories and rest. You have work to do tomorrow. Perhaps you were hoping to ask for some special privileges? No. Sorry, you'll have to use credit coupons like everyone else. It's not as comfy here as you might imagine. I'm suspicious of him. Uh, Siege Win. Now that I've gotten a good look Siege at you win. two, I think you're very cute. After <laughs> all, heavy is the head that wears the juicy crown. <laughs> I guess I just want to say, just take care of yourself and don't get hurt. I, is she said I have a big head? Grab yourself a welfare meal. Shut the fuck up, you stole me. He cut for you and you repay him with arrows? Yes. Imagine you wake up one day super hungry and you fucking, you, you go to get gacha food and it gives you like sprouts or some shit. I'd be so pissed to eat the way. Oh, just like a single carrot. <laughs> Traveler in Paimon, right? Listen up. As new inmates, the only thing you need to worry about is what to do and when to do it. Don't make any extra trouble for yourself. Fielding? The bunks oh. are right over there. Follow me. What's a fieldling? It's prison? Yeah. I'm aware. <laughs> but usually there's like slop. <laughs> right? <sighs> so this is where we'll be sleeping from now on. Oh, Paimon can't believe this. Oh. The days of staying home and reading detective stories are like a dream now. I mean, the bed looks fine, uh, though. By the way, Traveler, we saw a lot of things worth investigating just now. Even though the Duke didn't say it too directly, judging from what he said at the end, it seems that he was only welcoming because we know Nouvellette. We are criminals, and Paimon did eat that cake. True. But we're actually here to help Nouvellette. Hmm... Is it possible that he knows we're here on a mission? Or is Paimon overthinking things? Probably knows more than he's letting on, for sure. Yeah, Paimon thinks so, too. He probably knew why we came here from the very beginning and intentionally wanted to send us a message. Maybe something like, Hey, I have my eyes on you, so don't try anything funny. <laughs> What's that accent? Uh, we're already here, after all. There's nothing we can do about it. Yeah. It's not like we can go back to Nivellet empty-handed and say, The dude looks scary, so we gave up. Don't try anything funny. Uh, and besides, the dude said that he was willing to go out of his way to show respect for Nivellet, right? Yes. So, we at least need to try. But, Hyman hasn't gotten a clue where we should start our investigation. There was one other important thing. Lenny. You mean... Lenny's presence here, yes. Yeah. Almost spilled the beans when we ran into him. I love beans. Fortunately, based on his attitude, it looks like the Duke sees Linny as just another inmate. True. We worked so hard to help clear Linny and Lynette's names, and yet we turn around and bam! He's in prison anyway! If I had to guess, I'd say he's here for the same reason we are. I think Alakito sent him. Oh, right! Linny and Lynette are from the House of the Hearth. They work for the knaves, so they could be here to investigate too! I think and I would like if Alakita was sent Linny and maybe Lynette, maybe even Freddy, I don't know, at least Linny, to come here to investigate us. Not what they're doing, to investigate us. There's something over there. Huh? Oh, it's a card! Oh, shit. I didn't notice it earlier. Hmm. It looks like a magician's prop. Linny must have left it here. He's in prison and still doing his little tricks, huh? Let Paimon have a look. 
felt there's more important nice things for them to investigate. Let's catch up in the production zone tomorrow. Then the traveler going around helping all the Orcons that doesn't have a vision and can possess all the elements? I don't know. What in the world? It's really like he's greeting a buddy on the street. Kind of that he'd write something important. This proves that he's up to something here too. If you say so, we can ask him what's going on tomorrow. Let's get some rest now. Hmm. With a bit of trepidation, you and Pymo spent your first night in... Blah, 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 blah. Hey, I'm in Skyrim. You're up early today, Paimon. Well, it's Paimon's first day as a prisoner. Last night, Paimon dreamed about getting interrogated by the guards until Paimon told them everything, and then Paimon woke up. You told them every... Hey, come on! It's just oh. a dream, okay? Paimon wouldn't really squeal. Maybe. God damn it, hey, Paimon. Lazy bones. What are you still doing here? Shut up! If you don't want to starve, then get yourselves over to the production zone. Shut up, Fielding. <laughs> Ignoramus, yourself as soon as possible after asking Fielding about the location of. The I even got a cap. I thought that was fucking Tartalia at first. I actually thought that was Tartag. I'm not even kidding. Ah, you must be the catch of the day. Looks like you've got some luck getting assigned this space. Oh, you're gonna annoy me. Yep, we just arrived yesterday and. Don't interrupt me when I'm speaking. Shut the fuck up! Yes, sir. Listen carefully to my instructions. I don't want any mishaps. Every machine here is worth more than the both of you. Oh, God. Oh, God. Oh, God. You know when you just instantly get that feeling? Like, listen, I feel like I'm a pretty decent judge of character. At least for the most part. At least I like to think I am. This guy seems like a fucking asshole that I would not like to be around. Working around these machines can be very dangerous. Do your job well, and you can eat in the cafeteria after your shift. Get sloppy, and you dine in the infirmary. Mm. Anyway, the Fortress of Merope doesn't want to lose a single one of its machines. And it also doesn't want to waste the production potential of any inmate. You got that? Got it! Would you be nice to prisoners? Well, you don't know why they're there. Your job is to use the machine over there to process widgets. Let's be honest, right? Okay, be honest with me here. If you were working as a prison guard, and you came across a prisoner and you would be mean to every single prisoner and then you asked one of them why they're in and they said because i ate a cake that was belonging to the archon be honest with me would you think they're a massive piece of shit who needs to fucking spend the next 45 days in living hell or would you laugh your fucking ass off and give them a fucking high five come on watch carefully and make sure you step on the pedal at the right time if the machine gets jammed then give it a little maintenance with your fist <laughs> okay here take this Bring me the process widgets, and I'll give you some credit coupons in exchange. So if the machine gets jammed, you just need to attack it to fix the problem. Yeah. Once the widget is hot enough to blow, jump to step on the pedal and hit the widget with the hammer. Peak gameplay? I mean, this is why I got C6 Nouvellet. Okay, you got this. To be Wait. honest. Now we can report back to the foreman and give him the process widget. <laughs> huh. This one is... Tolerable. I got it perfect. Though, since the processing is done by machine, the product is all pretty much the same anyway. All right, I'll pass you for now. And we'll count up how many credit coupons you've earned. Mm. 50. 50. I'm exhausted. We're done now, Wait, no. Right? Oh, that foreman. He's so scary that Paimon couldn't even speak. 5,000. This is Tavat numbers. 5,000. wants to head straight to the coupon cafeteria we still need to meet lenny first right yeah he probably just finished up his work too he should be around here somewhere how many did i get 400 you know what i don't know if that's good or bad but fuck it we're, we're probably gonna find out at some point lenny mr magician where are you lenny oh this better not be some disappearing act Seem to be Going up again. Let's try looking somewhere else. Lenny? Mm, where could he be? We don't know. Oh. Hey, over here. Hi. Ah! Oh, you scared Paimon. How'd you appear out of nowhere like that? <laughs> 
magic. Oh? You scare so easily now? Is there something worrying you these days? Well, a lot of things. You little... The only thing we're worried about was trying to find you. <laughs> sorry, sorry. Come over here and keep it down. Okay. What's up? Why the fuck are you here? Oh, Lynette! You're oh. here too! You two really are inseparable. True. That's right. My brother <laughs> simply can't stand to be away from me. She looks so not happy to be here, dude. Uh, it's not just Lynette. Fremine is also here. They're all here. Do you still remember him? Oh, nice. Oh, you mean that diver from the House of the Hearth, right? Yeah. I don't remember seeing him in the Court of Fontaine before. Now hurry up and tell us. How did you end up as criminals this time? We fought so hard at court to prove you were innocent, but now it looks like our incredible court battle is for nothing. Mm -hmm. Sadly, even the teeniest of things can land you in prison these days. I put together a street performance and used the popularity we gained from the Opera House incident to attract a big crowd. And then? Next, I invited several audience members to participate in the show. And then, with the entire audience watching, <laughs> their wallet suddenly disappeared. My brother was charged with theft, and I was charged oh, as his God. accomplice. Having assisted him in his crime. What, you didn't give them the primos back? Uh, it really isn't that bad. The missing wallets are all in the leftmost drawer of the Maison Guardianage's big filing cabinet. Oh, no. We just need to see how long it takes to discover them. Yep, we should be released then. Oh. In terms of the magic trick itself, I think the performance went perfectly. Good. Uh, leave it to Lenny to magic himself into prison. The question is, what are you two really doing here? Indeed. Last time I hid my identity from you, I promised that I'd tell you absolutely everything if you were angry about it. <laughs> no more secrets. Yeah, true. So I don't plan on keeping anything from you this time either. At the moment, the House of the Hearth's interests don't conflict with yours at all. Hmm. We were instructed by the father of our house, the Knave, to come here and conduct an investigation. I knew it, but it's not on us, which is good, I guess. Oh, told you so. See? Paimon guessed right. Same. As for what we're investigating, perhaps you haven't heard, but the fortress of Meropede hides a secret. Some even say that the entire fortress exists just to protect it. The... water? The House of the Hearth has been investigating this for a very long time, trying to uncover its mysteries. But recently, all of our informants, including the ones that had infiltrated the guards, suddenly vanished and have not been heard from since. We believe that this is a direct provocation, and it's the reason why we came here. Why is the house so interested about the secret? Father has somehow managed to confirm that Fosalorus does not have Fontaine's Gnosis. Ooh. What? How did she manage to learn information that important? Ooh. Father has her ways. Many of them are beyond our imagination, and we've never had the chance to see her at work. But we trust her conclusions. Number one, how the hell did she find that out? Number two, that means it's probably either kept with Nuvalet or inside the oratories, I would assume, to power it. Was it was this information that led us to suspect that Fontaine's Gnosis might be in the fortress of Meripede and is related to that secret. I mean, I doubt it. So it's all about the Gnosis again. Well, that's about it from our side. How about you two? Did Monsieur Nervulet send you here? Yeah. Bingo! The name has been applying a lot of pressure. She wants know what happened to child so we came here to investigate paimon she said not to tell anyone uh traveler are you allowed to tell them <laughs> too late now you've already said everything <laughs> you don't need to worry too much about that she's just asking for a report on master child's predicament as a means of pressuring you oh. father used this situation as a pretext to negotiate with two high-ranking officials in the court of fontaine she actually just wants to be able to make concessions on this matter for gains elsewhere Almost like a bargaining chip. Yeah, that's still not good. Sometimes you need an excuse to do things you otherwise couldn't. And a harbinger is more valuable than you might imagine. Of course, it's not a complete farce. If we do manage to find out what happened to Master Child too, then diplomatic relations with Fontaine could improve, and Snezhnaya might even be able to adjust its stance a bit. Is it just Paimon? Or does it feel like we're the only ones who actually care about Child's situation? The relationship between the Harbingers must be as bad as ever. I mean, I ain't gonna cap. I don't give a shit. <laughs> I 
I'm interested to find out what the fuck has happened, but if he stays locked up here, that's fine by me, to be honest. Like, I'm I just saying. Go that far. <laughs> Father just has different standards than we do when it comes to what can be sacrificed <laughs> for an advantage. Uh, by the way, I have a suggestion. Why don't we team up? Oh, God. Even though we have different objectives, we're both here to investigate the fortress of Meripede. It would be more efficient for us to work together. As you know, the House of the Hearth has many reasons to seek the Gnosis, but our highest priority remains resolving the prophesied crisis. You can trust us on that. Mm, I must refuse. <laughs> See, I told you. Is that so? Interesting. Hmm. Sure enough, it won't be easy to convince them to cooperate with us. Well, no, we're just straight up not. Lenny seems to be thinking pretty hard about something. Of course he is. How many credit Lenny coupons? Has been looking forward to a chance to reach an understanding with you ever since last we met. Or, I should say, we were really looking forward to teaming up with you this time. Lynette, just tell them everything, why don't you? <laughs> it's okay to open up a little. Uh, if all we're doing is sharing info, fine, but I might reconsider if things get serious. <laughs> Very prudent of you, and consistent with your behavior since we first met. That's reasonable enough, and I agreed to cooperate on these terms as well. Why are you so I formal? I was prepared for the worst, but you were actually more agreeable than I anticipated. <laughs> all right, then. <laughs> There's no time to lose. I have some information to share, so listen carefully. Since Lynette and I arrived here, our investigation uncovered the fact that the Fortress of Meripede has a forbidden zone. Oh. Most people just clammed up and wouldn't talk, but after asking the right questions, we were able to confirm the existence of the forbidden zone from the guards. You should be aware of that while you're investigating. Thanks. A forbidden zone? Oh, could that be where the child disappeared to? You're right, we'll definitely keep that in mind. Good. That's the most suspicious thing about the fortress that we know of so far. We have a few other unanswered questions, and we'll be investigating those as quickly as we can. Anyway, I hope you find our information useful at least. I did. Oh, look at the time. You two must be hungry. You should go to the coupon cafeteria and get something to eat. I'll use my cards to get in touch with you again in the future. Oh, that's just what Paimon wanted to hear. Paimon's starving after all that work today. We can talk more about the investigation later. Let's go get some grub. Think Child's in the Forbidden Zone? The Forbidden Section, maybe? Oh, he wasn't kidding. This meal is nowhere near as good as last time. Sorry, Paimon, my oh, fault. Who knows how long it'll be until we're lucky enough to get that super tasty meal again. As long as you're here long enough, it'll only be a matter of time before you get it again. Yeah, forget about it then. We'll just deal with the regular food for the time being. Chat. Just get out of here as soon as possible. You better go see me every single day in in game and get a meal and let me know what it is. And YouTube comments when you're watching this. I want you to comment on the video what the meal is that I give you. <laughs> life here doesn't seem all that bad. Other than the foreman being kind of mean and the work being pretty tiring. Oh god. You think so, mate? <laughs> if I had a coupon for every fish who said that. Huh? Seems you fishies still haven't learned your lessons from your life up on the surface. If you take things at face value, then by the time you reach a dead end, you won't even know how you ended up on that road in the first place. This is the trailer voice. This is the trailer voice, I remember it. Oh, have some advice for us, old timer? <laughs> I like your attitude. I can, uh, let you in on a little something. V Doc having the Riz voice. The Riz voice? Oh no, dude. The, 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 I don't know. It gives you creep vibes. Everyone's been telling you to just follow the rules and not cause any trouble for yourself. Am I right? It's a cool voice, though. But what they don't tell you I don't is think that the it's rules are exactly what they pretend to be the rules for being a prisoner. A prisoner. The truth is, this place has a lot of hidden rules. Huh? Hidden rules? What do you mean? Not everyone knows about those rules, but whether you know them or not, once you break one, you might encounter something even worse than death. Well, how? Like, but th that doesn't make any sense. Really? Oh, now you're really scaring poor Paimon. Don't joke around like that. Has some advice for us, old Taiba, again? Of course. And I'd say that just disappearing would be one of the better outcomes. Oh, 
You mean that if there really are hidden rules, then Kyle's disappearance might have something to do with that? Hmm. Uh, in that case, would you tell us some hidden rules? We definitely want to avoid breaking them. <laughs> Come on, mate. This is valuable information. The difference between life and death. Do you really think you can just ask and I would tell you? Paimon understands, but we don't have many credit coupons yet. Yeah, yeah, I know. Not like I'm going anywhere. Just come talk to me after you've saved enough. Moreover, your new fish, freshly caught and completely out of your element. Mm. What'd be the point in even telling you anything before you've gotten a handle on your new lives? Come and find me once you've been here longer. I'm usually Damn. around the rag and bone shop. Just call me V-Doc. Bye-bye now. Ah, oh, interesting. You yes. left. Just like that. Oh, no. Huh. Do you think he's just trying to scare us into buying fake information from him? Maybe. I think so. Uh, is it possible that someone would just disappear, but I'm still interested? I mean, we know it is, but not in a good way, yeah. right? Yeah, it might be a good place to start in our investigation. Hidden rules, huh? But, like he said, we don't have any coupons, and we're still not familiar with this place. Oh, there's nothing we can do about it now. Ah, we were so busy talking, we almost forgot to eat. Even if it's not the best, it's probably better while it's warm. Come on, dig in before it gets cold. Hmm. After you meet, you spend some time getting familiar with the fortress before long. It's night time. Bedtime. So Paima just confirmed with the guards that our shift is set for every morning, and we're free to do whatever we want all afternoon. It's actually really good to know. But it seems like most of the other inmates choose to continue working through the afternoon to earn more credit coupons. Oh, and they also said that you can use coupons to skip work in the morning and free up your time. Interesting. You weren't kidding. Credit coupons really can be used to do anything here. Yeah, but to change fate, like Wisely said? Oh, Paimon's so tired. And we'll need to wake up and go to work in the morning. Without any credit coupons, it's not like we can really do anything else. True. Mm. Nighty night, Traveler. Paimon hopes we can keep making progress on our investigation tomorrow. Mm, I feel like we didn't really get anything done today, to be honest. Oh, shit. <gasps> Tata's Hydrovision. <gasps> are we seeing... Oh, my God, we are. Holy shit. I hear someone calling me. That sounded like... Narwhal Narwhal. <laughs> oh god. The fight ring. What the hell? Where are you? <laughs> are you awake, Traveler? Yes, and Child's vision gave me visions. What's wrong? Maybe that's why he gave it you to us. You to have something on your mind. I dreamed Did of... Did you dream about something last night? I dreamed of child. Rather, in the dream, I was child. Is that even possible? Unless it was... Ah! Was it an Whoa, ordinary dream? Child's vision! Mm -hmm. So you had it with you this whole time? Well, obviously. But maybe the vision connected child's consciousness to yours. The power of water is its power to take many shape, and that is dreams too. Maybe I can use his vision to see if everything he experienced from his perspective. And our investigation has its first major breakthrough. Good thing you brought the vision with you here. So what did you see in the dream? Do you know where Child went? Mm, it was a little hazy and I didn't see anything particularly useful. Huh. Okay. Well, hopefully it'll be a bit more helpful in the future. What's more important now is that it's the start of another new day of prisoners. Let's do our best to earn more credit coupons. 
I just find myself so excited about this, dude. Let's spend some coupons to skip. No, let's go work in the production zone. Let's go. It's time to start working. If that guard fielding catches us skulking about, he's sure to give us an earful. I don't want to use all the coupons in case we actually need them for something down the line. And I feel like we could use it maybe for information and stuff too, so... I don't know if it actually matters. Look who decided to show up. Get your butts in gear and get to work. Time's a-wasting. Hush. Uh, already on it. Good. Here you go. Remember to give me the widget once you've finished processing it. Mm-hmm. I will do it. I will do it. This is riveting. All right. Riveting. Uh, <laughs> okay. Oh, I'm on speed. Really? You didn't but do after anything. So many shifts, it seems we're really getting the hang of it now. It's been two and it takes five minutes. All you do is float around telling me what to do. Hey there, fellow shift mates. Hey, I saw Rowan. You finished your work, so I thought I'd come over and say hi. Oh, hey there. We've seen you before. Your assigned workspace is really close, isn't it? <laughs> That's right. The name's Rowan. This past few days, I couldn't help but notice the new faces working nearby. I guess we were destined to meet. Talking about destiny and fate a lot. here for almost 15 years. Oh. Even the foreman Grainville always calls me Chief. What did you do? Whoa, you've been working here a long time, Chief. In other words, you haven't managed any improvement in 15 years. Hey, not so loud. I mean, it's true. <laughs> if there's anything you'd like to know, just ask me. I know the work here in the production zone better than the back of my hand. Chief, we'll be sure to come to you first. Uh, we just haven't quite learned all the rules. Oh, Did shit. You just ask about the rules? <laughs> this is <laughs> pretty sharp for newcomers. You've already heard about the rules, huh? Who'd you hear it from? <laughs> it's like, it's like been in school, dude. <laughs> it's like been in school. I don't think you need to know that. The hidden rules, that's what they're called, right? Hmm. All right. Seeing as I'm the one who came over here, you're already calling me Chief. I guess I can tell you a little. Truth is, you two keep working like this, you might be putting yourselves in danger. Huh? Huh? Wait, there's even a rule about that? What would have happened if you never told us about this? Well, it's usually not that easy to break one on accident. The conditions of the hidden rules are usually pretty specific. But once you do break one, bad things happen. Okay, can we just know the rules? For the love of God! The conditions in this case are... If you work continuously in the production zone for three days, and if all you do besides eating and sleeping is just work, then something bad will happen during lunch on the third day. Huh? Like what? Oh, don't scare Paimon! <laughs> if I knew that, then I wouldn't be standing here talking to you. Now would I? You mean... Even you have never tried working three days like that before? There's actually a legend about this rule. Uh-huh. They say that there was a worker who worked way harder than me. He was both efficient and eager on the job, and most other workers couldn't hold a candle to him. One time, he tried to test his limits and worked as long as he could. Then during lunch on the third day, he disappeared into thin air, as if he'd evaporated. Later, uh -huh. some people went and asked some of his past friends about him, but they said... Never heard of the guy. What the? How could that happen? You see what the worker looked like? Unfortunately, we were assigned different production zones. I never saw for myself what he looked like. Interesting. Wait, are you thinking that it was... We'll give it a try. Thank you for the info. Huh? We'll oh. give it a try. <laughs> you... <sighs> Listen, kid. <laughs> This ain't the kind of thing you should be curious about. <laughs> Let me tell you, you're better off forgetting about it and looking after yourself. Now I kind of regret ever telling you. Yeah, <laughs> I agree with Chief here. Do you really want to try? I do. I have a feeling people are going to get evaporated into the water, but we're not Fontanians, so who gives a fuck? Nothing ventured, nothing gained. <sighs> All right, if you insist. I do, Paimon. I do insist. You finish your morning work and arrive at the coupon cafeteria, and I heard a chest? A chesticle? Whoa! Isn't this the super lucky meal? Oh. Looks like hard work really does get rewarded. I did a good job. Simon's gonna take her time and save her every bite. What would you like to do this afternoon? Let's go work at the production zone. Right. We just need to keep at it. <laughs> I 
I'm just gonna keep doing it, dude. I'm just gonna keep doing it. I want to see what happens at lunch on the third day. I'm sorry, okay? I'm fucking curious. You raise Look your tone at me. To show up. Shut up. Get your butts in gear and get to work. Time's a wasted. She said the same thing every time. Good. Here you go. Yep. Okay. I'm working at the production zone. Orders given, orders received. Who says that? Chi Chi. Oh. I have C5 now. I work in the morning shift. Apply for continuous working shifts with Greenfield. Choose to go to the production zone in the morning and gather information. Fucking how? I guess I got to talk to him before I do the job? Maybe? Yeah, we woke up so early today that Paimon's been nodding off all afternoon. Good thing it's finally time for bed. Hmm. You had lunch, it's not morning. Oh, true. It's not a separate day. But either way, that doesn't matter. I should have still been able to uh, do it shortly. Day. We're rich! It feels like we're getting used to life as convicts. Uh, is that a good thing or a bad thing? Bad thing. What do you have planned for us? Let's go work at the production right. zone. We just need to keep... A lot of repeating voice lines here, so if it's just repeating voice lines, I'm gonna skip it, Chant. I'd like to apply for three continuous working days. Uh oh What's with suddenly wanting to work so hard? You need coupons that badly? Yup. Sure. Let's just say we really want to test our limits. To investigate the hidden rules, you and Pymon start working despite the lack of clarity. Okay, so it's not even a choice. You, you just... Well, I guess it is, because you can still choose where to work, but... Um... You don't yes, just get to apply for it. You have to do three days in a row. Okay, now disappear among the sea of butterflies! Oh, God. Oh. Is it breaking? Widgets would be so tiring. Hmm. Is Pipe actually doing anything? I don't think so. You got massive Bellabog vibes here. Disappear him on the sea of butterflies. Oh, that's it. Pipe doesn't even have the energy to talk anymore. Damn, we look tired. Is it time to eat yet? Yeah, lunchtime for Pipe Hmm. It's the first time I see Piper look actually tired like that. You finish your morning work and arrive at the coupon cafeteria. I swear I keep hearing chests. Unless that's the tickets going up. Oh, I'm exhausted. It's just work, work, and more work. I'm <laughs> little body can't handle this much longer. Oh. Wait a sec. Now that Paimon thinks about it, haven't we been working nonstop for three days now? And now it's lunchtime. Hmm, you're just reali realizing that now? Oh, Paimon feels a shiver going down her spine. What's going to happen? But it doesn't seem like I'm gonna guess nothing. And we made it to the coupon cafeteria safely. Are the so-called hidden rules only a rumor after all? That'd be quite a disappointment. I think it's a, a, a lie, and I think the reason that they say it is to make sure inmates aren't overworked so they still want to work. That'd be quite a disappointment. Well, there's no use to just guessing all day. Paimon's stomach has been grumbling the whole time. Let's just eat already. Mmm. Oh, God. Paimon wonders what we'll get today. Maybe we'll get the super lucky meal. <laughs> Please be something terrible. Wait. What? What is that? This is... What? what in the world is this? What's with Paimon's food? And yours is the same. Is this stuff... Meat? What? There's nothing wrong with this meat. What do you think is going on? Is this the bad thing that Rowan was talking about? Someone went missing before and now our meals have this strange meat. No, stop right there. Pinon gets what you mean. Just don't say it. It's not berry puffins, chat. Isn't that Wolsey over there? He must have made the food, right? So let's just ask him about the food and be done with it. Hey, Wolsey, have a moment? What is this? Hmm? What is it? I'm about to go report the numbers for today's free meal, so you'd better make it quick. Uh, it's about the meat in our meals. Look, does it seem normal to you? The meat? Oh, that. Looks perfectly fine to me. Totally normal. You better hurry up and shout out. Uh, uh. Okay, this be fine. Hey, don't leave. You barely even looked at it. Hey! <laughs> Maybe it's our eyes. Uh. Something? Looks like we'll have to investigate it ourselves. The plot thickens. Yeah, looks like we 
have no other choice. Paima was positively famished a minute ago, but now she's lost her appetite. The strange meat. The strange welfare meal received after violating the hidden rules of the production zone. Interesting. Well, we this afternoon. I would like to Oh, invest I would like to investigate the clues that we discovered. That's what yeah. I'd like to do. Paima felt like some of the people here were a little strange the moment she saw them. Fitzroy! Oh, hello. Hi. You two are the ones who were with His Grace. No need to be so nervous. Sorry. I couldn't help but think of His Grace once I saw you, and I... Uh... Are you that scared of him? Oh, well, it's hard to say. Maybe I am. He's got a very overwhelming presence. It makes me feel like I'm just some insignificant little bug. Wait, seriously? Oh, I'm always indecisive, and I tend to make a mess of things. It's like a <laughs> reflex. I just instantly start to tense up the moment I see a smart and capable person like His Grace. <laughs> I get it. You want to take his pl what? What? Please don't say anything like that out loud. How could you possibly take something like that? I agree. How? What? <laughs> that is not the vibe I got. Rowan, sussy backer. Rowan, uh, what are you doing here, Chief? Oh, uh, I was injured a bit just now. Nothing major. I think I just pulled something. A little mishaps like this are unavoidable at work, you know. Hmm. <laughs> Paimon wouldn't have thought someone as experienced as the Chief would still get hurt on the job! I just knew you would say that. This is pretty embarrassing. Uh, where is Siegeween when you need her anyway? The one time I need to make a quick trip to the infirmary. I mean, oh, we can take you. she wasn't in the infirmary? Yeah. The rumors say that there's never anybody in the infirmary in the half hour before lunch. And nobody knows where Siegeween gets off to. Oh my god, did Siegeweek give us our sus meat? So this isn't just a coincidence, but she's always absent during lunch? Huh. That's actually really strange. Siegeween's always super dedicated to her work. Where else would she possibly go? Uh, forget it. I can take care of a small sprain like this on my own anyway. Suspicious. Don't need to trouble her. The empty infirmary. Yeah, that's actually very sus. She went out to hunt Berry Puff. What is your obsession with murdering Berry Puff? Lynette! Hello, did you get three desserts? Oh, wonderful. Nice. I was worried that you'd be busy trying to earn reward coupons all the time, but it seems like you haven't neglected your investigation work after all. No. Paima likes having more coupons, but no one wants to work all the time. Have you also been investigating the area, Lynette? No, I was just slacking off and you happened to catch me. Based. How's Lenny holding up? My brother is still obsessed with anything remotely related to the Forbidden Zone. But knowing him, it won't be long before we get more leads. Oh, before I forget, this is for you. Huh? Credit coupons? Why are you giving us these? For our investigation? I've been here longer than you. Coupons aren't a resource in particularly short supply. What is in short supply are interesting people to talk with. Of you, Lynette. We'll be sure to make good use of these coupons then. Thanks a bunch! Interesting. Very interesting. Hey, look! There's something here! Hmm. Looks like a research notebook. It kind of does. That suspicious guy peeking into the infirmary just now. Are they a fan of Sea Dream? Maybe. They must have dropped this. Let Paimon read it real quick. The Melusine perceive the world very differently from humans. There are significant deviations. As a result, their sense of aesthetics and beauty is also very different from that of humans. This must be taken into consideration when giving gifts. Hmm. Whoa. This all sounds pretty serious. He sure did his homework. Won't he be object was looking through his notes? We should thank him for the... <laughs> and as for the notebook, let's no. take it. Uh, I mean, sure. Melazine race perceives the world very differently from humans. As a result, the Melazines have also developed a sense of aesthetics that appears rather strange and alien to humans. Maybe say we just made the food and it's actually not that bad. You know? Maybe that's just their aesthetic. Maybe they like blue meat. It's not my cup of tea, but might be a Melazine cup of tea. I don't know. Maybe it's not that suspicious. Maybe we should have just eaten the fucking meat, dude. What is... Oh.
I only just noticed this. Are we just ignoring this, by the way? Usia Numa? Yeah. That seems like a lot. Maybe it's not, though. I don't know. Hey. It seems like a reactor about to go off, on. dude. So now you remember our names. <laughs> no need to tease me, okay? <laughs> I won't trip on the same step twice. We did him a solid last time. I feel ashamed about last time. Thank you for praising me in front of his grace. Yeah, of course. Here are the extra credit coupons he gave me. I'd like you to have them. Huh? huh? No, we couldn't take them. They're your reward after all. But when I was welcoming you, I didn't do anything but give you the stink eye. True, you did give us the stink eye. Come on, I insist. These coupons are nothing compared to getting the attention of his grace. True. I won't take no for an answer. <laughs> uh, th that's honestly kind of true. It's fine. Understandable. Sea tween. Ha. Huh. Sea tween? Aren't you supposed to be in the infirmary? What are you doing in the production zone? Hello, traveler. Hi, Mon. Hi. Everyone's usually busy around now, and we don't have any patients to look after in the infirmary. I thought I'd come here and enjoy the sight of everyone hard at work. Enjoy? Oh, uh, what's there to enjoy here? It's really worth watching. I often stand here and observe everyone. Humans are just so interesting and adorable. I like to watch your expressions while you work. You remind me of Nahida. Uh, are you talking about pets or people? She reminds me of Nahida. Can I watch you? That weird breath that she does, dude. The creepy stuff. Yeah, it reminds me of Nahida. You also happen to be a vet veterinarian as well as a head nurse. Oh, I can see why you think that, but you shouldn't jump to conclusions. Okay. See, we Melazines are a different species, and we see the world very differently from humans. It's very easy for me to observe everyone's condition. All it takes is one look, and I can tell which workers are exhausted. Hey, Seedrian, your clock hand is uh, clipping into whatever the fuck this is. For some reason, it's annoying me now that I've noticed it. Wait, Melazines can see that? Huh. That does sound useful for being a nurse. <sighs> yes, running around tending to everyone's health is very fulfilling. But I'd much prefer it if you're all happy and free from exhaustion and pain in the first place. Fair. Take care of your body. Make sure you eat well. Always rest when you're tired from work and don't push yourself too hard. We'll definitely take care of ourselves. Thanks for the reminder. Mmm, seems like she can perceive the general state of a person's health just by looking at them. Which is very helpful for a doctor, I guess. Hey, how healthy am I? You think she gets you sick with a weird meat on purpose to get you to rest? Maybe. I don't know. I, I don't know if it would make us sick. I think we're kind of just assuming because it gets other people sick. Oh, you want to stop investigating and go rest? Oh, uh, it's time for the uh, rest, yeah. Okay, you should rest up. We'll be back at it tomorrow. Rest permanently? That's death. So after working a few days straight, we got some strange meat in our lunch. What was that all about? Yeah, that was very hmm. suspicious. Has our investigation turned up anything useful recently? I think I got something, but unfortunately it's not related to child. Really? <sighs> then it looks like that part of the investigation has hit a dead end. Hmm. Well, we'll keep searching for more clues tomorrow. Good night, Traveler. Good night, Paimon. Levity in the court. <sighs> the dawn of a new day. Yep. Paimon feels like we're getting used to life as convicts. Uh, is that a good thing or a bad thing? You say the same thing every morning. I feel like I'm in a samsara. It's a what bad thing. What are you planning for? Pancreation ring. <laughs> oh, you must be the Traveler, huh? Sorry, mate, but uh, competitors as strong as you are prohibited from participating. I don't make the rules, mind you, but I was given very specific instructions. Yeah, that makes sense. Even convicts value their lives, don't they? I hope you can understand. <laughs> no, I, I genuinely get it. But we have a game here that'll let you show off your strength, and you'll even earn some credit coupons in the process. What do you think? Interested? Oh, hell yeah. And if we lose the game, will it cost us credit coupons? Of course. Oh. That's the cruel reality facing every competitor in a place like the Pancration Ring. Mm. Don't say you'll fucking give it a try without asking what it is first. Okay, great. Let me walk you through the rules. The targets in front of you will pop up one after another. Oh, God. 
You'll need to hit the targets in the same order that they popped up. Oh. If you can complete a few rounds in a row with no mistakes, then you'll win credit coupons. But the second you mess up the order, you lose. Game over. The game costs 300 credit coupons Easy. to have a go. So, you up for it? Yeah, 100%. Thanks for your patronage, mate. Now, Thanks, let mate. the game begin. All right, mate. Easy clap, dude. I have such a good memory. <laughs> nice. PC says new Light gameplay. I'm not even using new Light. <laughs> Time to go. <laughs> Such a hard your game. True. Really shouldn't be underestimated. Now I get why you're prohibited from participating in any official fights. <laughs> you can remember three things in a row. Oh my God, you're so strong. Nobody who values their life would be willing to get in the ring with you. True. I can count to three. Um, can't know for sure if you don't let me have a go. However. You two haven't tried betting on the outcome of a Pancration match yet, have you? Just go talk to Rusimov. Buy a ticket for whichever fighter you think will win. There's a big payout if the fighter you support comes out on top. But we don't hmm. know anything about the fighters. How can we possibly know who to support? I get the reference, Arito. <laughs> That's normal. Just watch a few matches and get a feel for the fighters. It won't be long before you can pick winners in your sleep. He's got a point. Okay. Why don't we give it a try? If we have enough coupons, we could probably bet at random until we figure everything out. Huh. Bet at random, huh? Uh, well, how should I put it? Uh, it's not like you can't do that, but I'd advise you to give it some more thought first. Huh? We shouldn't get too carried away. What's the problem? Could it be that there's some sort of rule here? Oh, no. Is there a forced 50-50? What? I... <laughs> Oh shit! Never even picked a boxer before, and you already know about the rules. They're not just strong fighters. Seems you're pretty perceptive too. The hit 'em rules. Uh, might as well tell you about it since you already know that much. Plus, I think you've got the potential to be one of my greatest customers. I think I can let you in a bit. Besides, I don't want to risk ever losing a customer like you. Uh. Okay. Is that serious? Okay. <laughs> The hidden rule here is, if you buy both boxers tickets and support them both, oh no, something bad will happen the next morning. Next morning. So the rule is that we shouldn't pick both. This is a quick turnaround. Right. But if anyone actually did that, wouldn't they be guaranteed to lose coupons? Who would do that anyway? And what do you mean by something bad will happen? How would I know? Not like I'm stupid enough to do that. But I've heard oh, a story God. about the rule. According to the rumor, there was a masked boxer who possessed incredible skill and power. Child? Did he put his mask on? Chance against him. However, in the final match, the organizer no. told him to take off his mask. He refused and never showed up to the fight. Mm -mm. And after that, he was never seen again. Some say he died, or that he was taken care of by the event's organizers. But everyone remembers that he was someone who cherished honor above all else. In his eyes, supporting both boxers in a match would dishonor the competition itself. So you mean... I mean, that's fair. It's like a curse? He'll take vengeance on anyone who does that? Hmm. Do you know anything about him? Have you seen what he really looks like? No. He was always wearing a mask, like he was intentionally trying to hide his identity. I don't even know anything about his past. Traveler. Do you think that boxer was... Thanks for the info. We'll give it a try. Huh? We will? You're not serious, are you? Deadly. Look, here I was just trying to be nice and warn you, yet here you are trying to break it on purpose? Yeah, it sounds pretty scary to Paimon. We brought the other one and it was fine. Nothing ventured, nothing gained. Uh, seems you've made up your mind. Just be sure to protect Paimon, okay? Always. Betting on both fighters will set you back about 3,000 credit coupons. Hey, I'm rich. If you have enough, then go ahead and give it a try. Just don't come running back to me if something happens. Wait, so if you don't have enough coupons at this point, do you have to keep working until you have enough? Aww. Damn. Looks like we won't get a chance to sleep in as long as we're here. Yes, lol. Let's get to bed early. Wait, I spent the fucking things, right? I have enough, but I wanted to do it already. Are you two here to buy tickets? Better be quick about it. Another match is about to start. Who are the okay. boxers in the next round? We have the reigning champ, 
Le Grappler versus a contender from the Eastern Prison Block, Demon Horde. Are those their nicknames, or did they choose those names themselves? <laughs> Either way, super weird. Agreed. Uh, since you're new around here, I'll help you out and give you a little Demon suggestion. Horde. Even though Le Grappler is the crowd favorite, Demon Horde is a first-class dark horse with incredible potential. Le Grappler. And for this match, I recommend that you pick... Oh, uh, we're picking both fighters. Huh? <laughs> for both fighters? Oh. Uh, I could tell you're new to this, but I didn't think you were completely clueless. Yeah. Maybe you don't quite understand the rules, no? Let me try to explain again for you. Both Let's fighters. Do. Oh, no need, no need. Um, we're aware that we're going to lose coupons. We're just being weird. All right, then, if you're absolutely sure. Yeah, we're just weird Remember, little guys. No refunds once you buy the tickets. It's fine. Yeah, yeah, we got it. Just shut up and take our coupons. Jesus, fuck, Paimon. Rude. But also true. Damn, she got aggressive for fucking no reason there. Where are the prisoners? Since we had a productive day. Hope we can make even more progress tomorrow. <laughs> I'm on sick of it, true. <laughs> Shut up and take my body. <laughs> Wait, was that a Futurama reference? I don't know, I haven't seen Futurama in like... Ye oh. Hey, traveler, <laughs> buy mod. Package here for you. Uh-oh. The next time you buy something, go pick it up yourself. It's a bomb. I'm not a delivery man, you know. Mm-mm. Huh? A package? For us? Did you buy something, Traveler? Ah, Paimon's not quite awake yet, so why don't you go take a look? Now that was a yawn. I didn't buy anything unless this is... Oh, right! Yesterday we broke the hidden rule and bought tickets for both boxers. Oh, maybe this package is the bad thing that Colin said would happen. Huh? Paimon suddenly feels wide awake. Wait, maybe you let Paimon go hide somewhere first. Just call Paimon after you opened it. Okay. Hey, wait, wait! Paimon's still here! Don't open it! Ah! You could literally disappear and go, like, poof. Uh, doesn't seem especially scary, but there is something a little odd inside. Huh? Are you okay? Oh, is this gonna be the? Let Ooh. take a peek too. A little odd inside. Mm, would it make sense to get it as something that could kill us though? Maybe not. It is the crimson liquid that it that the voice line had in the trailer. Oh, it's just a small bottle, but the color of the liquid inside looks so wrong. Almost like. Rumor has it that a box went missing, and the liquid in the bottle obviously looks like blood. All right, that's enough of that. No need to say it out loud. Paimon already knows what you're trying to say. You want to give it a taste? Ooh, no way. Get that stuff away from Paimon. <laughs> Seems we'll have to investigate. This place is chock full of strange happenings after all. Uh, Paimon thinks we shouldn't open the bottle until we figured out what's going on. Just trust Paimon in this one, okay? I agree. Strange blood-colored fluid. The strange package received the next day after violating the hidden rule of the pancreation ring. That is kind of odd. Investigate the clues you discovered. Why does it cost me 400 Oh, because I got to well, take work nice off, I guess. Slack off a little. Less work means less coupons. Let's make the most of our morning. Yeah, let's go. Let's do it. Walk around and look for clues. Promoter. <sighs> if there's no way to send it all out, then maybe I'll never get a chance to leave. Hmm? Uh, who are you? We've never seen you before, and you don't look like a fellow convict. Uh, I, I'm not. <laughs> of course I'm not. Please, don't mistake me for a criminal. I'm a good, law-abiding citizen. Oh, of course you are. Then what are you doing here? You sure seem anxious about something. I'm a promoter for Fontico, and I'm <laughs> oh, usually responsible sake. for promoting our drink products. I thought I could complete my task here quickly and return to headquarters, but I've been here way longer than I anticipated. Not Fonta. Oh, a promoter from Fontico? So what kind of problem did you run into? Uh, I'm so upset. It's all because of that Duke. Yeah? After discussing the company's promotional plans with him, he told me outright that my project was worthless. Oh. However, in light of our long history of successful collaboration, I still tried to patiently explain the details. However, to my surprise, he just 
cut me off while I was speaking. How rude. <clears throat> Let me take a moment and recall his exact words. I'm just going to stop you there and say no. If anything, I'm saving you time. It seems you don't fully understand the value of credit coupons here, nor do you understand the value of your own products. The former is because you are from the overworld. That's understandable, and I don't blame you for that. But as for the latter, only someone monumentally stupid, so breathtakingly stupid, that they were completely ignorant of the value of credit coupons, despite living in the underworld, would ever possibly consider buying your drink. Let's just forget it. Wow, Risley's fucking passionate about his credit coupons, huh? <sighs> anyway, that's how he rejected my proposal and asked me to come up with another solution with the condition that it doesn't cause any trouble for him. Can you believe that guy? Jinx, is it possible for you to go into stream elements and change the name of the points from rings to credit coupons? <laughs> uh, well, he is the head honcho here. Not much you can do about that. We met him too and could tell that he's the kind of guy that's hard to pin down. Fine, fine. I know, I should just let it go. I'm on his turf after all. His house, his rules. I mean, since I'm Brian, it makes sense too. <laughs> Dissatisfaction with the Duke. Only idiots on... <laughs> hey! <laughs> Rizzy's kind of rude, dude. Rizzy's kind of rude. Collins! Hey, I did the thing. I heard you crazy fools really did it. You bought tickets to support both fighters, didn't you? Well, I, did anything happen? There you go, chat. You've got credit coupons now. Well, Thanks, the Jinx. next day we received a mysterious package, but we still haven't made any sense of the contents. So it is real. You didn't become cursed or anything like that, did you? Are you both still okay? <laughs> Wait, are you sure that it's still you controlling your bodies right now? Yes. Uh, Paimon's not sure. What do you think, Traveler? Is Paimon still Paimon? Mm, only you'd ever ask such a question, so I'm pretty sure you're fine. Oh, okay. Well, that's good. Hmm. Yeah, you two don't seem to have changed at all. But I wouldn't let your guard down just yet. Still, I didn't expect you would actually do it. You'd actually throw away coupons like that just to satisfy your curiosity? Even if we bought tickets like everybody else, it's not like we could hope to earn any coupons. Mm. When it comes to things like this, it's always the organizer who makes the real profits. Hey, just what are you trying to imply? <laughs> the creation ring is an honest business, and we really don't make much from selling tickets. We make so little that even the current tournaments can only be held thanks to funding from the producer of Fanta. Uh-oh. Oh, so it's the company that manufactures Fanta sponsoring the events? Uh-oh. I had thought all of this was thanks to the Duke's support. That ain't gonna go Let's well. Let's just say it's a mutually beneficial arrangement. They reached out to us first, hoping to promote Fanta products in the forges of Meropede. That's some important info. Uh, anyway, you try and take extra good care of yourselves these next few days, you hear? Sponsor of the Pancreation Tournament. Mmm, the company must want a return on their investment as well. That is true. That is true. Oh my god, the gambles. We might have to put a cooldown on the gambles. What? <laughs> oh, yeah. Are they registration forms or something? Hmm, maybe not. Every page has the Fontico symbol on it. Maybe it's some flyers from the company. Let's take a look before anyone else shows up. Uh, okay. But if someone catches us, they could accuse us of trying to steal the company's secrets, couldn't they? What are you afraid of? We're already convicted criminals. Oh, <laughs> you're right. Guess there's nothing to worry about then. Let Paimon have a look here. Without assistance from the Fontaine Research Institute, development of the new product has been slow, and some researchers on the project have voiced concerns. We have no choice but to let the new product undergo the first phase of promotional trials without a designated name or packaging. We will adjust the direction of future development according to feedback. Okay. We have decided to only conduct closed small-scale trials for the time being. Sure doesn't seem like hmm. anything unusual. Yeah, it doesn't. The company is just trying to develop some new products besides Fanta. But what but products? But it sounds like things aren't going well at all. I guess that's the important thing. Uh, let's put these papers back where we found them and make it look like nobody went through them. Okay, good. Huh. We ended up here without even thinking about it. 
Wanna grab something to eat? Hmm. Let's end the shift. All right. But remember or was that, that a point? we this time with coupons, so let's make better use of it next time. I agree. Um, I mean, the game told me to come here, so I don't know. What is this garbage? Oh, God damn it! Ooh, Two in a row? It looks disgusting. Oh, Paima misses your cooking now. Two bad ones in a row? But I didn't even get to what see what it looked like. What do this afternoon? Well, this afternoon, we should, I guess, After work? Here, a mysterious box, a bottle of crimson liquid. Oh, Paimon still doesn't know what to make of it. Do you have any ideas, Traveler? I've got something, but again, not related to child. Really? Oh, then it looks like that part of the investigation led us nowhere. Well, maybe we'll have better luck tomorrow. Good night, Traveler. Okay, but Traveler, who is it connecting to? <laughs> You know? Oh, shit. Give us more, King. Complete the following objectives. I've already done them. Okay, so we've investigated two of the hidden rules. Oh, Paimon didn't think this prison would have so many weird things going on. Me either, honestly. We better pick up the pace with our investigation, otherwise we'll never get anywhere. Oh my god, we're spending more coupons to skip. Yeah, let's skip work for now and put our time to good use. Isn't that V-Doc over there? Ah! Huh. Is it just Paimon or are there fewer people than usual here today? They all brought the rules and died. Mm-mm-mm. Ah. Seeing you at this time must mean you've already saved up a lot of credit coupons. <laughs> or at least enough to skip work. <laughs> Seems you're getting into the swing of things around here. This guy sounds slimy to me. I don't like it. We're getting by. My goal is to become the next Duke. Impressive. Very impressive. Oh, God. So, now can you tell us about the hidden rules you know? His voice is hot. If that's I what don't you see know, it. I guess you couldn't have come at a better time. Huh? What do you mean it's a good time? Leonid and those other pesky broke urchins have all gone to work in the production zone. I wouldn't want them listening in without paying up. Mm. We get it! Just tell us already! So, you know those pipes that make strange sounds? <laughs> Don't ever, ever go near them at night. Even if you manage to avoid the guards, you might find something even more terrible there. Something even more terrible? Like what? It's a, a fitting voice though. Cannibals. Huh? Cannibals? In the fortress of Meripede? Every month, they meet a few times in the dead of night. Rumor has it they might be connected to the people that have disappeared here. But what's even scarier is that they have a special proclivity. What the fuck's a proclivity? Since they have no way to dispose of the leftover remains. They have ways to transform them into other forms and keep them in the fortress forever. Water. Uh know what you mean by other forms so that's what's going on here oh Paimon's stomach doesn't feel so good mm, is that really true there's still a chance that we what we saw isn't connected to cannibals <laughs> you two look pretty skeptical no matter learning the truth behind dark secrets isn't necessarily a good thing I've got things to do too I suggest you just act like I never told you anything Okay. <laughs> Traveler, can we just trust him on this one? Oh, Paimon doesn't want her blood and flesh entombed here for all eternity? Even if it's true, do you really think cannibals could take me in a fight? <laughs> oh, so that's how you see the situation. Sure. Huh. You know, Paimon does feel a little better about it now. Alright, then just like before, let's get ready to investigate another hidden rule. Oh, when will all the secrets end? Mm, bring me with curiosity. You and Paimon eat lunch and head out to investigate the new hidden rule. Vidak isn't here, but the guys who went to work in the morning are back. Let's go ask them. Just Leonid first. What are you talking about? Listen, you should keep your nose out of other people's business. What the fuck? How dare you, Alexis? What? What are you saying? You shouldn't go around saying stuff like that. Okay. 
Poirier. Poirier. Stay away from me. Wow, toxic. Jesus. Poirier. Hmm. Their attitude sure is suspicious. Like they're trying to avoid us. Pretty obvious they're hiding something. Could they be connected to the cannibals? But if they're being so obvious about acting weirdly, do you think they might just be trying to lure us in? Oh, Possibly. This is all getting way too creepy for Paimon. Mm, let's approach it from a different angle. We'll probably never get anything out of these guys. So you mean we still need to investigate some more? Yeah. Okay, if you say so. I just don't know where, though. What else can you even investigate at this point? Fielding. Hello, Fielding. What do you want? Ugh. Criminals like you ought to be working right now. Ugh. Catch my drift. We just want to ask uh. you a simple question. Have you ever discovered anything odd during your nighttime patrols? Why are you asking about something like that? Whatever happens at night isn't your concern. All you need to worry about is getting enough sleep. Oh, interesting. He uh, seems defensive. Very uh, defensive. You see, sometimes we hear strange noises at night. Right. We've heard it happens a few times every month. Paimon has sensitive ears, so it makes it hard to sleep. Just speak really? about the rules. I see. Uh, but it's not like I'm on duty every night. And now that you mention it, I recall my colleagues talking about something like that before. They say that strange things tend to happen at night on pipe cleaning days. Uh-oh. Lots of us don't willingly take those shifts. So, what happens at night on pipe cleaning days? And they just conduct regular cleaning of the fortress's drainage facilities. There are three pipe cleaning days per month. And it just so happens that today is one of the scheduled days. You can try to confirm the sounds tonight if you want, and if they're real, then I can report the issue to my superiors for you. Oh, okay. Then we'll keep both ears out tonight. Now, if that's all, then I'll be leaving now. I advise you not to try anything funny, though. Even if funny. I'm not on duty tonight, someone will still be watching you. Don't worry, we don't want any time added to our sentences. <laughs> mm-hmm. <laughs> oh, he left. So what do you think about the pipe cleaning days he mentioned? Those might be the days when the cannibals are active, but it might also be nothing. Just the pipes being cleaned. Right. Both are a possibility. But Fielding did say that tonight is a cleaning night. Well, no reason not to find out the truth for ourselves. Paimon knew you would say that. All right, sounds like we'll be up all night tonight then. But Oops. Return to the dormitories or dormitories and rest till now. Why do I say dormitories? Dormitoire. Oh, we. Ah, we, oui, we. Oui. It's the time for bed. <laughs> Jesus. I'm so tired. But we can't sleep yet. Though that was a. The pipes tonight, so it's the perfect chance for us to investigate. Damn it, now I'm fucking yawning. Pipe on, God. Fucking damn it. We just need to wait until everyone else has fallen asleep. If we miss our chance tonight, it'll be a while before we get another opportunity. True. <sighs> Whatever. Just be sure to wake Paimon if she dozes off. Paimon's worried something might happen if you go alone. I'll be fine. Huh? <gasps> wait. Did you fall asleep already? Tartalia's hydrovision? Wait a second. Gotta be. Yes! Show me the truth, Tartalia. Give me the vision he's running away from no one he's running towards something is he just trying to escape oh, Paimon's made me yawn dude and now I'm going to have chain reaction yawns Hey, girly. <laughs> oh, it's these three. We just spoke to them. Wait, so they might know about it. They must know about it. <gasps> Did he escape through the pipes? Something is calling me. I have to go. His whale. Ooh. Oh, shit. Was he meeting up with the cannibals? <laughs> I highly doubt they're actually cannibals. <clears throat> I saw a child in my dream again. Oh, it looks like you were just peacefully sleeping to Paimon. Well, what did you see this time? Investigating the pipes tonight is the right call. A child escaped via the pipes. Yes! Really? So we're finally starting to figure out what actually happened. But uh. What about the cannibals?
vegetables. How do you explain them? So we'll find out soon enough. Maybe they just use like red pipe cleaner. Okay, well it's about time for us to get moving. <sighs> just be careful to avoid the patrolling guards. I could actually imagine that and prisoners just coming up with some random fucking bullshit to, to excuse it. What? I know you. Wow. You were the ones we saw. Yeah, we spoke. <laughs> You've got guts showing up here. You know who we are, right? Most people complain about sneaking missions. Well, most people are fucking... Most people complain about fucking everything in this game. You'd better leave now. Ain't nobody coming here to save you. Enough with the theatrics. what you say? All those rumors about the cannibals and hidden rules were started by you, weren't they? Yeah. So what if they were? If you push us, we can make those rumors a reality at any time. Hey, what's the point of all those rumors anyway? What exactly are you trying to do? I don't have to tell you anything. If you turn around, go back to the dormitories, and act like you never saw anything, then I'll pretend that you never showed up here. <laughs> yeah, scram. <sighs> Nothing worth seeing here. I will strike with my vengeance and sword. There's something called me. Huh? I have to go. What did you say? Secret password, Isn't baby. Exactly what boss said when he left? Yeah, boss, hey, huh? Do you know our boss? Yes. Child Tartalia. Oh, we had no idea our boss was such a big deal. Ow. Oh, he no. He kept his identity a secret. Well, I so outed him. Did he have you come here to find us? Mm hmm Oh, so your child's crew here? Seems like he had no problem fitting in. Well, of course. He's a fucking well-renowned criminal at this point. Uh, I'm a friend of his. We came here to learn what happened to him. We're the only ones who heard him say those words when he left that night. So unless he somehow told you those exact same words after that... Yeah, I think Tartak probably was the master box, so he did have the mask. Hmm. All right. Well, yeah, I he is. that's proof enough for me. That's confirmed, actually. I believe you. Pretty much, because they came up with the secret rules that if you break them, like, you die and stuff. And then, so Tartalia broke the two rules and disappeared. So, yeah. Wow. It would have been him. Those dreams of yours sure come in handy. We gave him the business for a while, and would always give him a hard time when he first came to the Fortress of Maripede. But here in the Fortress, the strong will always earn respect. Hell yeah. He was working the longest hours and racking up wins in the Pancration Ring. He could always see how amazing he was, even when he was teaching us a lesson. So eventually, we all decided to follow him. We didn't make it very far, did you? He's out of here and you're not. <laughs> But one day, he suddenly told us that he had to find a way to escape this place, no matter the cost. He said it was because he heard that call again. And as his crew, if the boss wants something, then it's our job to get it done. Okay. So, we got to work, and use the hidden rules that were here to make up and spread the rumor about the cannibal rule. Cannibal's an interesting one, though. a chance of escaping on a night after the pipes had been cleaned. Oh! Thanks to your rumor, nobody would want to come anywhere near here, prisoner or guard. Wow. It sure is easy to exploit people's fear of the unknown. Mm. But has a child already escaped? Why are you all still coming here after pipe cleaning day? Because as far as we know, the pipe he went into isn't actually an exit. It <laughs> should be a dead end. <laughs> it leads to an abandoned factory area. And even if there were a way to escape from there into the sea, we're still way too deep. No one could ever reach the surface alive. But boss still uh -huh. insisted on going in. It's like he was obsessed about it. So we told him that we'd pretend as if he never existed while he was gone. And that if he huh. wanted to come back, he should wait for nighttime on a pipe cleaning day. That way, we could meet him here and help cover the whole thing up. So you come and wait here through the night a few times a month just because of that promise? That's pretty cute. Yeah, but it's been so long now. We already know in our hearts that he must have managed to escape somehow. I mean, it can't have been that long, right? <laughs> he only got locked up not long by it. Uh, is it also possible that something unfortunate happened to him? No, he's a playable character, and Hoy of us haven't done that yet, so I think we're safe. Nothing could ever defeat Boss if slowing him down. It's one thing we know for sure. One thing I'm very confident about is... The second they do end up killing off a playable character, they're at least going to do it on screen. Okay, okay. Paimon was just brainstorming possibilities. They're not going to have an off-screen death. Uh, can you take us there, where he All left? Right. Keep quiet and follow us. Okay. 
Okay. The way up from here has been sealed off. It's impossible to get through. Mm. Boss left by going down from here. It uh, wasn't full of water at the time. Later, we came back hoping to have a look. That's when we found out it had been completely flooded. It's impossible to navigate unless you're an extremely skilled diver. Do you think Child got trapped by the water? Not likely. Wait. We all know that Boss was an incredible swimmer. Fremini probably helped him. I just remembered he's been here and we haven't fucking seen him yet. I bet Fremi just helped him out. I know a good diver. Oh, really? Then have him come investigate, pronto. Just be sure to tell us if you get any news about Boss. It's getting late. We should leave before the guards come this way. Yeah, we learned a lot about what happened to Child here. Let's get going. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. You scared because he doesn't have his vision with him? Yeah, but he has his fucking electricity, you know? That's that stuff. <sighs> we finally learned some key information. Seems all of our investigative work has finally started to pay off. When you said you knew a diver, you were talking about Fremine, right? Yep. If we ask Linny, he'll definitely have Fremine help us. Mm hmm. Ugh. Why is Child like this? What was he doing going into the pipes? Not making our jobs easier, that's for sure. It's actually pretty interesting. I do wonder if in that first teaser that we saw when everybody said they could see a whale behind Fremi, I do wonder if Fremi tried to save Tartalia, but the voice he heard was his little whale thing or something. Fortunately, though, it was like it foreshadowing. Seems like it's only a matter of time now before we find out what really happened. Now that we can finally relax, Paimon's starting to feel super sleepy. Hmm. <sighs> Let's try to get some rest while we still can. Nighty night, traveler. Night, Paimon. Uh, it's morning already. Oh, Paimon still needs more sleep. That was the most fucking abrupt end to an Orkhon quest I think I have ever seen in my entire life. So I guess this one's more so just tre like one long act that's been split into two, I assume? That's weird. Let's use the coupons to skip our shift and take the morning off. Huh? Wait, look over there. Isn't that... It's one of Linny's cards. You're right, it's been a while since we got that to him. Maybe you haven't heard, but today is the monthly free day. Everyone has the day off today, which makes it the perfect time to do some investigating. Or the worst it's time. It's been a while since we last talked. Have you been making any progress lately? Let's meet at our usual spot in the factory area before lunchtime. I have new information. Ooh, today's our lucky day. We have the day off. From the sound of it, Lenny's been making progress with his investigation. Wonder what he huh. discovered. Hmm. We still have some time before we meet up. Let's talk with the people here for a bit more before we go. Interesting. And that is the start of Act Four, I guess. I don't know what I feel right now about this. That was that was very odd. Act Three is probably the worst Archon Quest so far. You think that Act Three was the worst Archon Quest so far in the whole game? I would have to heavily disagree with you, but by far the worst out of the Fontaine one so far. It was very repetitive. I'll give you that. It definitely was. Hopefully, Act Four makes up for it. If I remember rightly, wasn't Sumeru kind of the fucking same dude? Wasn't one of the the acts very set up and bad because it was set up, but the setup was needed and worth it. I think it was at four, right? That was the setup. Honestly, just kind of expected, I think. 